Uh, where's my candle lighter? Oh, and I should grab some incense because that looks spooky too, right? Spooky season. Do, do, do. I love my spooky season. It's spooky season. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Because also smoke will make me look more demonic, right? Let's uh, take a bunch of these incense sticks and stick them into my little salt glass here. Oh, it's gonna be great. There we go. Do, do. All right, that should be plenty of smoke. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna grab another candle. A black candle. Because it's spooky season. Halloween is coming and we're into the fall. Oh, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for reminding people that uh, the fall is here. But the fall is a pretty time of the year, as is winter, as is spring, as is summer. They're all beautiful times of the year and you need to appreciate them before you're rotting in the ground. Oh, I run out of butane. Well, isn't that charming? Oh, it's a good thing I've got more of these. I got lighters everywhere. Some people say I'm a pyro. Okay, so we got our smoke now to make me look like I'm a, a demonic entity. Cool. Now, I've seen you guys ask about these. This is a, uh, a Molex, okay? This is a Molex uh, Mini Fit Junior. And these are commonly used on, uh, well, circuit boards inside of computers and stuff. Uh, there's also some uh, radio equipment that uses this as well. So check this out. I know that they charge a small fortune uh, for the kits, but I got this for $63 on AliExpress. Now the strippers here, I'm gonna call this stripper cinnamon. Um, I, this is kind of useless to me. I, I hate this. I hate this kind of stripper because I prefer this one, which this one's actually, uh, name is Nightshade. And, uh, yeah, I also use scissors and stuff all the time too. Okay, and so we're gonna put that back into the case, y'all. Yeah. And I'm gonna get my crimpers out of here. Now, these crimpers here have the appropriate size for my 555, yeah, 5557, uh, Molex pins my mini fit pins and in this kit as well is also a bunch of yes I'm breaking the fourth wall and looking over my screen because I don't have a preview window here all right so these also have various other uh, crimp heads in them and the tool to change them in fact I use the one that's designed for automotive and I have another one of these crimpers that I put the automotive tips in so made it a lot easier for me so we're gonna crimp some Olex stuff because I'm actually making a bunch of um, tails for a project that I'm working on so I've already got one here all right, so I'm gonna crimp these guys up. Yes, I have cool Halloween-y stuff type things around. All right, so there we go. Get it, get, get, uh, distracting me. Okay, here we go. So let's take this. Okay, so here's a black one right here. I'm gonna show you how to crimp a Molex. So I'm gonna uh, get uh, my strippers here and I'm gonna strip off just a little tiny bit, just like so, see? Now I'm gonna take a pin because I've got a whole bunch of pins sitting right here. And here's my pin puller specifically for the 5557s. Um, so that way I can pull the pin out if I fucked it up because that clearly happens on occasion. All right, so I'm gonna put a little twist in this and I'm using silicone wire here. Silicone wire is the best for projects and it's also great in low temperatures. So I'm just gonna stick this in here like so. Perfect, and I'm gonna put it into my crimper. Now the crimper is um, double seated here. So we wanna make sure that we get this in here appropriately. So I'm gonna place it in there like so and make sure that she's lined up properly and boom. And then you just go down one more. Make sure that it's seated properly. Look at that. I would say that's pretty fucking perfect. That is a perfect Molex crimp. So now I can take this one, we'll put the two blacks together here and we're gonna put them aside over here. I'll put them over by Mr. Goat, or is it Ms. Goat? Hold on, it's Ms. Goat, she's got an udder. And then we've got Mr. Raccoon. So let's see here. I'm gonna put my incense aside now because it's ki <coughs> killing me slowly. Uh, oh yeah, here, let's move the other black candle over here. Yay, I love spooky season. Okay, here we go. So now let's do another one. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to, I'm gonna clean the end of that just a little bit. Take off a little bit on the end here. Sometimes less is more. Uh, if you wanna know that you're making it the right length, if you lay it in here, the larger wings here are specifically for the, um, uh, the larger wings are actually for holding the cable and the smaller ones are for holding the wire. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in there like so and let's see if I can do this again without looking like an idiot. All right, so I'm gonna spin this around here. I'm gonna place that in there so that the saddle's in the right spot and crimp and then I'm gonna move it up one make sure that it's pressed in there properly there we go we've got uh, two connectors simple enough right so there's the next one I put it over here and let's do another one I actually have four of these to make uh, before I'm complete my wiring harness for this project that I'm working on which I can't make a video of this project because I'm starting to do prototyping for myself in hopes to not always be impoverished because I don't make a lot of money doing what I do which some of you might be shocked about that but seriously Living in Ontario, Canada is really expensive. There we go, we've got our four pins. Now I'm gonna take my old power pack here that I'm replacing, and let's see how this is orientated. Okay, so we go blacks on top, black, black, red, yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna use this as my reference because I'm duplicating this. Okay, so black is on top and the saddle faces up. There, that's clicked in nicely. Another perfect seat, and then red on the left. There we go, feels like it went in, but it didn't quite click. No, it's in there, and yellow. 
There we go. And in you go, yellow. There, that one clicked nicely too. So there we go, I just made a Molex and it matches the other ones perfectly, see? So I'm gonna do that one more time. So I'm gonna take this tail now, cause this tail is now done. So I'm going to uh, put a little knot in it and put it aside. Let's do one more. Okay, so I'm gonna take my wires here, or leads, depending on how you wanna call them. Let me just switch screens here so I can actually see my audio meter. And by the way, don't forget, folks, to uh, like and subscribe. And if you wanna help feed me and uh, pay for the content that we produce, uh, please join us on Patreon, because that really, really helps. And eventually I wanna be able to do the YouTube channel full time, but I won't be able to do that until I get way more subscribers and uh, start getting some uh, Patreons on here. There we go. Right, so that's on there. And also thank you for our Patreons for helping make these videos possible so far. It's, uh, without our Patreons, I wouldn't be able to afford any of this. Here we go, so there's one. Now, I'm gonna actually, you know what I should be doing too? Let me bring this up closer to the camera and see if I can get it to focus. There we go, can you see this now? There we go, you should be able to. Yeah, I got thermal compound all over me. See how this is? So there's the larger wing right here is specifically uh, for holding the, uh, the lead, the actual um, cable. Then the second one in is actually the grip for the power, like the actual contact with the uh, stranded wire. And then after that, you've got your female socket there, see? but I probably shouldn't assume it's gender. Ah, you see what I did there? Ah, I made a silly joke. Ah. Okay, so here we go. Trim this up. It looks like it's really, really short, but it's really not. I'm going to take this and stick it in here like show. Oops, I'm making, so I'm making sure that the uh, strands are actually going past, like just past the second set of um, wings there. I haven't mastered this yet, by the way. This is just uh, kind of a new process for me. Oops. Let's try this. Let's try this. I'm gonna try a different way. I'm still working on this, by the way. I am not going to claim that I'm a Molex expert by any stretch of the imagination because I just started learning how to do these. There we go, so I can see the pins. Beauty, she worked pretty good. Now I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna put this into the saddle. It's a double stage saddle. And that's something else which I should show you, actually. Let me get the uh, kit out of here and I can show you. Because there's two sets of wings, okay? Because there's two sets of wings, there's two steps in the saddle. I mean, uh, here we go. Come on, focus. I can touch it to make it focus. Here we go. So if you look here, you'll see that there's uh, stepping in there, right? So one is actually deeper than the other, and that's because the larger wings, the ones that are actually for the uh, uh, the jacket, um, go in this part, and then the part for the actual wire goes over there, and then of course this follows suit here, and it goes in like so, and then crimp done. Okay, let's. Change my focus back again, and kind of neat that I can do that. All right, so we've got two more wires. Let's get two more done. There we go. Get this on here like so. Press that in. Perfect. By all means, by the way, leave a, a message in the comments below uh, if you have any questions or whatnot, or if you want to tell me how to do this properly, because I'm sure that I am really embarrassing myself doing these crimps. But they're actually relatively simple. It's just uh, getting your groove down, and I'm right-handed, so this makes it kind of difficult. There we go, so there's another one. And now we can put our Mini Fit Junior in uh, together. And so let's just double check this. So uh, black, black, yellow, red. So why don't we put the bottom in first this time? So yellow goes on this side. There we go, just like that. You can hear it click, it's kind of cool. We got red, yellow, here we go. We have another Molex done. Pretty nifty, eh? Not that hard, folks. But I'm sure that there's a better way for somebody who's more skilled at doing this to do this. Now I do believe that can be make a radio that require this exact connector and you need a crimp your own wires for it. Well, these pins here, I think that all these thousand pins or however many are in here, cost me a grand total of about um, $7.50 and they came with this. So I got all that for like 10 bucks or so. And then I bought these pins, these pin removers that help you actually, you can slide these into the slot like so and this pushes the pin out. So you just pop that guy in there and it will actually push out the pin. It'll actually de-seat it so that you can uh, take out the cable and I guess reuse them somewhere or whatever, or if you mess up the connector, then you're done. So that's th that's basically it. There you go, I just crimped some Mini Fit Juniors, uh, some 5557s. That's what these guys are called. These little female pins are called 5557s and these are called Mini Fit Juniors. And um, if I remember, I'll put the link to all this stuff in the description so that you can um, save some money and buy these Molex crimps person that for uh, all of it in less than a hundred bucks yeah I mean this is this kit here is probably enough to make about uh, oh Christ well, I think there's about 50 of these little connectors in it so whatever but anyway hope you enjoyed guys thanks don't forget to like and subscribe join our patreon if you want go to the Miss Fix It Facebook page and uh, thanks for coming hope that was helpful to you catch you later ciao